Okay, we're going to do an example involving a Newman projection and a Fisher uh, projection. And there'll be kind of several questions that we'll be working on as we go through this. First, so we can say this, this one's an eclipsed. Let's see, first if we can name it. Well, uh, I put, remember, OH has to be on the main chain. There's one, two, and the third carbon, fourth carbon. Uh, we want to give OH priority, so we'll consider this carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, and carbon four. Uh, so this would be a butanol. It'd be a three chloral two butanol. Three chloral uh, two butanol. Okay, so there's the name. Next, we want to draw the Fisher projection of this entity. So let's draw the Fisher projection. Uh, okay. There's going to be two stereo centers on this axis that we're looking down the carbons, this one and then the one represented by the circle. Uh, it doesn't matter where you put the OH group, um, but we'll just make carbon one at the top. So CH3, and then uh, at the bottom carbon four, CH3. And then uh, here's the trouble. I'm going to have to name, I'm going to have to figure out the stereochemistry of these two carbons right there and then place the H and the OH and then the H and the CL in the appropriate locations. Let's do the stereochemistry first thing. So for the front, um, whatever kind of way you figure out R and S is priority one and then in the back this. So for the chlorine, that looks like it's R. Uh, so R for that carbon. And then for the one in the back, first priority, uh, then we have second priority here, third here, and last, uh, last one here. So let's see, that's, uh, well that's kind of a funky one, but let's say that's an S. So, uh, review your R and S if that was a little tough for you to do. After you get that, now it's easier to place. What I would just do is like pick a card and let's take the second card with the OH. You can randomly pick which side the OH is on and just double check that you get an S. So again, first priority, second, third. So that would be uh, an S, I guess tried in this case. That's an S, so that's okay. The second one was CL and the H. This CL and this H. Uh, again, you just want to guess. And uh, if you're wrong, switch the answer. So, for example, right there. First priority, second, and third. Uh, the way I've made it, I've made that S. So, we don't want this to be S. We want it to be R, so if we put it here, it'll automatically invert the configuration that card will be R, and if you double check your answer, it's R now. So there's the molecule and Fisher projection form. Uh, we've already done the R and S. Uh, the next part that I want to do, I want to draw the enantiomer and the diastereomer of this uh, molecule. Okay, so the enantiomer is just simply uh, the mirror image of this. There's the enantiomer. Now let's draw a diastereomer. Uh, so this enantiomer would be R, S. We flip both configurations. Okay, to draw the diastereomer of this, and there would be two possible ones. I'm just going to draw one of them. Uh, I'm just going to recopy the picture, whichever one you prefer. We'll start with the original one. Keeping one of the configurations the same and then switching the second one, which would make this S and this S. So that molecule, the third one, would be a diastereomer. These two would be an antimer. This is a diastereomer of both of these. Uh, another possible answer is where both of these are inverted to give the RR. And that's a, another possible diastereomer that you could draw.